Hello and hi, we are from Group Health, we present the Red Zuma project. And this is the table of content for each presenter with their own parts case study. The ABC company specializes in developing and selling a wide range of high quality scooters, which the president, Robin Lane, predicts that these scooters will be featured in X game events. And ABC is a small company and uses a strong metrics to optimally utilize limited manpower. The table shows the project begins and holidays. And this table shows the project schedule. Part one, we need to develop the new Resex scooter code named Red Zuma and construct a network schedule for this project and prepare a memo. We need to create the calendar renamed to Red Zuma project, change the working time to the non-working times, set project and holidays, and insert all the task durations and predecessors. And from that, we will get this this figure. From this figure, we can know the duration and estimated finish for this project and also the gun chart. We also could change the gun chart to the network diagram. From that, we can see the critical path which in the red color path. Next, double click the predecessors and choose select columns and we can create our own code column ES, LS, EF, and LF and also Slack. From this figure, we can know the most overall Slack is the detailed marketing plan which have 179 days. And we can conclude this network considered sensitive as they have numerous critical paths. As we know, milestone is a target that marks completion of a work. And for this project, as new scooters produce, the manufacturing process and build prototypes are the most important milestones. Hi everyone, my name is Nisrina and now I will proceed with part 2A. So the first question is, which if any of the resources are over allocated? So after analyzing the resource sheet, these are the over-allocated resources from our project. They are marketing specialist, design engineer, and also industrial engineer. Next, assuming that the project is time constrained, we try to resolve the over-allocation problems by leveling within slacks. This is the project conditions before leveling within slack. While this is the project condition after leveling within slack. So now we can see that the over-allocation from the detailed marketing plan was eliminated when we leveled the slack. But not all over-allocations were resolved. Additionally, it decreased the manufacturing study slack days from 10 days to 0 days. The 179 days of slack on the detailed marketing plan were likewise cut down to 134 days only. The lab test prototypes went from 5 to 0 days, while the manufacturing process went from 55 days to 10 days. The other components job remained at 27 days of slack and did not change. The leveling affected the project schedule since it added additional routes and cut down the overall number of slack days. The network was becoming more sensitive. This is because reduced lags caused a reduction in flexibility. Figures attached in the slides illustrate the project gun chart and its schedule timetable after leveling within slack. If we assume that the project is resource constrained with no additional personnel are available, then the project time frame will need to be extended to 310 days with a revised completion date of 21st of March 2016. The revised deadline pushes completion by two months and lengthens the plan by 50 work days. On top of that, in order to finish the project on time, each phase must be completed with the appropriate resources. If they are not correctly allocated at the beginning of the project, then significant delays will occur. Figures attached illustrate the project gun chart with schedule timetable displaying free and total slack depicting the resource constraint schedule. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Adriana. So I'm going to be explaining on the questions in part 2B of the Red Zuma project. So, in regards to the resource constraint schedule, which the top management is not happy about, the ABC's president has authorized the first Saturday of each month as working day. On top of that, we collectively agreed to start two tasks, the building prototype and final manufacturing, ahead of their actual start date. So, the former managed to bring forward the project's end date, and the introduction of the start to start like overall reduces the project's duration from 310 days to 290 days at no additional cost. The new end date of the project is on 4th of February 2016. So, as seen here, from 310 days, it reduces to 290 days. And the new completion date is on the 4th of February 2016. Right, so next, to help meet the deadline, the director also willing to add personnel to the project. Based on the current resource sheet, two resources are over allocated uh, the design engineer and industrial engineer. So there are three possible options of which of the two resources can be added to the project. So the first option would be to add one design engineer, but this addition only produces an estimated 2nd of March 2016 completion date, which actually exceeds the project completion date. The second option would be uh, to add one industrial engineer. So this addition succeeds in producing a completion date uh, which falls on 15th of December 2015, approximately a month before the actual deadline. As for the third option, one each of industrial engineer and design engineer is added, but this is also not optimal as the soonest completion date will still fall on the 15th of December 2015, similar to the first option. Therefore, I would like to request for one industrial engineer, which help reduces the work time frame, hence allowing this project to be completed before the January 17 deadline while still maintaining costs. So overall, these changes help in reducing the duration of the project from 310 days to 255 days. 
So the sensitivity of the project uh, network is set to increase, by which the project now has two critical paths, as shown here. Right. So and the total and free slack of the project tasks that are not on the critical path, which uh, there is a total of four non-critical tasks, also have reduced number of available slack in comparison to the initial slack. Right, that is all from me, so I'll pass the floor to Kobe. Hi and good day everyone, my name is Kobe and I'll be presenting to you the part 3 for the Ransomware project. In this part 3, there are two most important things that we need to discuss, which are the project costs, including with the most expected activity, and the second one is the cost distribution based on the cash flow statement over the last span of the project. Next is the total cost of the resume project. Uh, the one that is being uh, bolded is the project cost, which is at nine hundred three and six hundred ninety nine thousand dollar. And the one with the yellow highlighted is the most expensive activity, being the detailed product design, costing at one hundred ninety and one hundred sixty eight thousand dollar. Next, the monthly cash flow illustrated using bar charts. From the bar chart, we can interpret it that the trend line is linearly proportional from January 2015 until August 2015. And uh, this also shows that the project will be labor intensive during the first eight months. Next is the monthly cash flow for each task. Next is the monthly cash flow for each task and the cost spent for every resources. Uh, from this monthly cash flow for each class, uh, what we can interpret it is that the majority of costs are allocated to the second quarter of the year 2015, and the majority of these costs are involved with the manufacturing process, the detailed product designs, and building prototype. Apart from that, from uh, February to August, monthly cost exceeds $80,000, uh, and from September to December, the monthly cost uh, seems uh, to be decreased, which is less than $45,000, excluding the month of November. Yeah, it's the monthly cash flow for each task uh, and cost spent for resources. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello and hi, I'm Ayu Aliman and I will proceed the last part of this project, part 4A and also part 4B. So moving on to part 4A, the question requires us to give the status report to the top management until the date of uh, 8 July 2015. So from the earned value table shown on the screen right now, uh, we can see the red color highlighting the value of minus $37,350, indicating that the Red Zuma's project happened to be uh, over budget by that value. And we also can see the orange color highlighting the number of tasks that happened to be uh, over budget. And the first task that happened to be over budget is the product design, which uh, about a value of $18,750. And the second task that happened to be over budget is the procedure for selection of the product design for about $11,255. And the last one is the procedure for detailing designing of the product for about $16,903. And despite all of these three overrun cost product, uh, overrun cost procedure, there is one task procedure that seems to be uh, under budget, which is the procedure for the manufacturing studies, which highlighted in the green color box. So overall, until July 2015, uh, the Red Zuma's project remaining cost is uh, about $176,366 to complete at the given time, and this project is about 47.9% uh, completed. And based on the variance table, this Red Zuma's project happened to be completed in Friday, 15th of January 2016, meaning that this project is delayed about 22 days from its uh, original shadow. And that's all for the uh, status report until July 2015. And now we continue to part 4B, which Ms. Robin Lin, willing to spend $15,000 on the management reserves. Uh, she's willing to spend uh, on reducing the shipping of the component and also shipping of the manufacturing part. And each of these shipping will cost her around $25,000. And on the screen right now is two variants table before and after Ms. Robin Lin is spending her uh, $15,000. There is nothing much different, but the date of completion for this Red Zuma project is reduced by 7 days from its original date. Uh, this is due to the reason of the product equipment installation is pushed to 7th of January, compared to the previous one is 14th of January 2016. So the new current completion date is 8 January 2016, opposed to the original date which is 15th of January 2016. However, uh, these allocation values of uh, $15,000 is somehow not really necessary because the initial date of completion is 15 January 2016, uh, meaning that it has two days more until 17 of January 2016. So Ms. Robin Lin can bring this that is Zuma's project for the uh, Las Vegas show later. And that's all from us. Thank you.